Yo, what's good, YouTube? It is your boy, it's Swags from Team UGGC, aka the Urban Gamer Gaming Community. And you already know what time it is, bruh. Y'all see from the title, y'all already know it's that time of the year. We gotta do it right. We gotta do it. We gotta do it how I do it. But these are my top five games of the year. My opinion, my biased opinion, what I think. This is not what. IGN, GameSpot, all these review sites think this is my top favorite games of the year, 2019. And I'll have a 20, 2020 video coming, and I'm not going to break down every single system, every single game system, every single console, nothing like that. This is just all around my favorite game picks and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead. Let's jump into it. Let's get it. Alright, what up? It's your boy, it's Swigs. You already know. So, we're going to go ahead and break down my top five favorite games of this year. And um, a couple honorable mentions we're going to throw in there as well. So, let's, we're going to switch screens. We're going to jump right into it. So, y'all already know my first game. Y'all already know my first game is going to be Destiny, bruh. So, we're going to go ahead and play, you know what I'm saying, footage in the background. We're going to talk a little bit about this. You know what I'm saying? But <clears throat> this is definitely going to be... I should have saved this for number one, but we're we just going to start. These are my top. No no order given. I just got a whole bunch of, you know what I'm saying, tabs open that I can just go, go through gameplay with. But basically, I'm saying Destiny because I've been a long-term player of Destiny 2, Destiny 1. I follow all the DLC, all the gameplay, pretty much literally everything involving destiny if you look in the background nothing but destiny posters if you look around my room i got you know destiny ghosts right here i got you know what i'm saying it's not just one but i got two if i can reach this one oh i got you know what i'm saying like i got them all over my room oh can i put it back ah. <laughs> no but um like you know i'm just a huge fan of destiny got a whole bunch of destiny stuff down here you can't see it but uh i just think it's an all-around dope game i just like what it stands for i just like what it is a lot of people don't like it a lot of people think it's you know repetitive a lot of people just got their own opinions about it yeah i had downtime with destiny but i picked it back up when they dropped all the new content you know they're doing the season the obelisk they're doing all these season stuff, season pass things, the battle passes, which every console or every game is pretty much doing right now. Is this whole battle pass system crap? I don't know, but you know what I'm saying. I just it's one of my favorite games. A lot of people, you know, may feel different about it, but I don't feel no type of way about it. Um, I've been sticking with this game for years. I mean, for years, bro. Um, I've been playing it since day one. Like I said, I I just been invested. I'm very very invested in Destiny. Um, I'm definitely looking for more to come. I'm definitely going to be sticking with it. I'll definitely have content on the channel. I it is what it is. Like a lot of people, you know, don't like Destiny for whatever reason. They just think it's too hard. They just don't like the gameplay. I don't know. Um, but like I said, it's one of my favorite games. Um, it'll always be in my rotation. It'll always be in the list. I'll always recommend it to people. Um, and it's just, I like it. Like, I don't even really even know what else to say about it. It's just one of those games that I'm very invested in uh, amongst other games on this list that you will see here in a second of, uh, I'm kind of editing this real quick while we talk. Um, other games on this list that I am invested in as well um, that you guys will see here and in, in, you know here in the comments shortly in the video when I get done editing this border all right <laughs> anyway uh, but I'm definitely invested in destiny man I stream it all the time any new gameplay comes up for it you will probably see it on my channel uh, I have not really been reviewing any new stuff for it. I'll just literally stream it and throw it up on my channel but that is number 
five, I guess. I, it's no order with this. I'm just kind of going with the flow. I'm just kind of going with the flow. So um, this will be number five. Now, let's go back. I'm going to switch. The next game, the next game in the list would be my personal favorite, one of my favorite games still. Uh, I don't know. I got to turn the audio off of some of this. Is Borderlands 3. Now, um, this is 4. Borderlands 3 is probably the most active looter shooter there is for me as far as co-op looter shooters and just content in general and just what all you can do now uh i mean once you beat borderlands you just go through another playthrough that gets harder you can put it on mayhems you can farm you can just get the most absurdest weapons in the game absurd absurdist whatever it whatever um it's just insane to me uh i think borderlands is a great game great co-op game great for four player game um the loot the bosses just what all you can do in this game is just insane i follow borderlands the first one beat every single dlc with my cousin we went through the whole game in one day we actually sat played the whole game one day dlc's and all 24 hour gameplay was nuts was insane um and this is a little bit older footage this is just a stream that i posted um we was just running through you know playing the game when it first came out so some of this stuff is old i'm way higher capped than this and i'm on mayhem 3 working on mayhem 4 got a whole bunch of legendaries this is just early early footage of the game but i definitely got to put borderlands in here man like i don't know of any other looter shooter that's on this amount of level as far as being a looter shooter um it's just the gun the guns are insane just the gameplay the personality in the game just the you know the storyline it is it's funny like it's crazy it's it's a good game like i don't really i can't really bash borderlands i mean yeah it had a little hiccups people was finding glitches and stuff like that but you know it's a looter shooter man people gonna look for that stuff they look for content to throw on their channels all the time this is just something you got to deal with when you got a game like this man it's just point blank period to it um that's just what i think but this is definitely number four on my list it will be on my list at all times i will definitely put this game in my list of games that should be you know what i'm saying part of my 2019 list of games uh five favorite games are what is this like the five my five favorite games of 2019 are just my favorite games of 2019 best games of 2019 in my opinion this is one of them number four so let's go ahead and break back to the next game shall we um let's see oh <laughs> this is definitely gonna stir up some uh controversy but i don't care so the next game is fallout 70 six now a lot of people are probably gonna thumbs down this video i don't care because i'm a huge fan of fallout first of all i'm a huge fan of what fallout 76 did they bought fallout everybody always said i wish fallout was multiplayer i wish fallout 4 was multiplayer technically they took fallout 4 and made it multiplayer why do you not like this game and then, yeah, at the beginning, people didn't like the dialogue thing where you couldn't pick and blah, blah, blah. They didn't have voice acting, blah, blah, blah. All this crazy ass shit. They finally fixed it and people still didn't fuck with this game. Me, personally, I thought this was the dopest freaking game out. I put so many hours into this game when it first dropped. I, we went crazy. You see on the screen right now, like I had a whole bunch of missions to do. Um, we were streaming this game like no other bro when this first came out um i thought it was dope i personally thought fallout 76 was the livest game that was out at the time when i when i first seen the trailer for this i'm just like bro multiplayer fallout you can build camps you can pretty much do anything you can do in fallout 4 in this game bro this was a pick like i this was no hands down they got my money like no hands down um 
A lot of people just bash this game. I don't I don't understand why. I still don't understand why they bash this game. Just because it wasn't true to Fallout 4 or true to all the other Fallouts, they kind of, you know, the graphics didn't change and all this. The story it didn't, didn't have a story, blah, blah, blah. Bro, I wasn't even in it for that. I was in it for the pure multiplayer gameplay aspect of it. You know, just linking up with other people and playing. Like, I, I didn't see a problem with this game. Um, it was hard at the beginning, yeah, until they started, you know what I'm saying, fixing patches, updating the game, blah, blah, blah. Then they put the Battle Royale in there. That was kind of lit. It was different. It was definitely different from Fallout. Um, I had fun with it. Uh, I log on here from time to time just to browse around and play around on there. I still got a crazy-ass base. You know what I'm saying? I was helping, you know, Arshanique do her base, and my cousin was playing with me. We had a nice little group on here. We had mass people playing. It was live as hell. We had a whole group just running around, just beating up stuff, going to dungeons. Bro, it was lit. I don't see what people was talking about about this game. But I'm pretty sure, I mean, there's people in the comments talking shit about this game and, you know, giving their opinion, which I don't care. You can give your opinion. Whatever, bro. I like this game. I thought it was dope. I like the concept. I like the idea. I like what they did. I'm glad they brung it over. I still play it from time to time. I think it's a fresh game, personally. You know what I mean, you know, a lot of people got stuff against Bethesda and all that shit. I don't. It was a dope game. It's definitely number three on my list. It was not. This is not in order. I'm just saying my top five games. But this is number number three. We on the number two, so we're gonna go ahead. But this is Fallout 76. I thought it was dope, personally. That's just me. All right, next game uh, is. Definitely got to put this game on the list, bro. This is a must-have. As y'all already know, Monster Hunter number two. Yo, I put so many fucking hours into this game. Like, excuse my language, but I put so many hours into this game. Probably, I'm, a, I'm still playing and I'm around like 300 hours. I just started Iceborne. I got Iceborne a little bit late, but I jumped on the gravy train, got Iceborne. Um, I'm playing on Xbox. I just got into Master Rank on Xbox, but my preferred console, preferred gameplay console is PS4. This is where I started at. This is probably PS4 gameplay footage, more likely. Um, yeah, but I am still playing this game till this day. I've been playing it a lot lately. This has been the game of choice for me. Um, I love Monster Hunter. I grew up playing Monster Hunter from Frontiers to just Monster Hunter, uh, Monster Hunter XX, Monster Hunter Frontiers, Monster Hunter, uh, what, well, Frontiers 2, the one for, uh, the Wii U. I was playing all that shit, dude. Like, all, every single one for damn near every, uh, I got it on the Switch. I got it on DS. Like, Bro, I've been going stupid in Monster Hunter. It's one of my favorite freaking games. Like, top five favorite games of all time, Monster Hunter. Straight up and down. I love this game so much. Like, it is dope. I, I even play Monster Hunter online, the Japanese version. I had to do some all type of VPN stuff just to play with overseas players, just to play online. Killed it. Like, one of my favorite games, hands down. I still play Monster Hunter to this day. Monster Hunter World. One of my favorite games. Can't wait till they drop some a new Monster Hunter. Definitely gonna cop it day one. More there playing. Um, I just love the Monster Hunter community itself. Um, a lot of Japanese players, a lot of overseas players that really know what to do in this game. And really, you know, ha hands down, this is one of my favorite games. Hands down, I will put this in my list. But even though this did come out, this, I'm pretty sure this came out in 2019 at the beginning. Um. I'm pretty sure I could be wrong on that, but this is one of my favorite games of 2019. Um, you know, people beg to differ. I, I love this game, personally. That's why it's on my list. So, we're going to go ahead and jump over to number one. Um, let's see. We're going to switch cameras. Number one would be... Uh, let me see what I got in the raffle for number one. Uh... Okay, so this is between two games. Um, I'm going to put probably this game first. I'm going to probably put this game first because I just got to do this because it was a hit. So, first game will be Smash Bros. 
Smash Bros. Off Rip. Um, I'm gonna try to get into some gameplay. Uh, it's my boy Eric's gaming. He's probably talking about the new Monster Hunter drop that they just put in Smash Brothers, which is insane. They put one of the Monster Hunter characters in here, as you can see with the uh, Rathalos armor on, going stupid. I haven't seen this video, by the way. I have not seen this video yet. But uh, I got Smash Bros. at number one just because they brought it back and put so many damn characters in there Un real and then they brought it on the switch was was purely hype purely hype bro um smash bros insane insane i know a lot of people are not fans of smash brothers but i kind of grew up playing that on gamecube uh 64 like dude um it was insane like uh did they have smash bros on 64 I think they did. I think they did. Uh, hold on. Let me see. <laughs> I gotta make sure. I can't remember. I know it was on Game GameCube for sure. Smash Brothers. Smash Bros. 64. I think they had it. Yeah, yeah. They had Super Smash Brothers on 64. I knew I remember playing it on there back in the day. But I got this on my number one. It's not really my number one, but it's on my list. But I'm really hyped about smash bros now they they're not really showing smash brothers like gameplay but they just showing the uh they showing the 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 monster hunter ad the ad in smash brothers um which is cool i didn't think it was gonna be showing this i thought it was gonna actually show monster hunter or uh smash brothers fighting and you know characters and shit um but they actually didn't so let's go ahead and see if i can actually find a smash brothers video uh don't know if i'm gonna be able to i guess we just gonna pick this and just let it play in the background yeah i should have just picked this at the beginning um but smash bros at, at the end of the day so many characters so many game modes they just overloaded this game like crazy bro um i just thought it was dope that they put it on the switch and then it's like four player you can use a joy con just all type of just ingenuity in this game is insane bro uh so many characters unlocked just the gameplay is crazy it's so competitive i just like smash bros i think it was dope i thought it was the dopest thing that they dropped and everybody's reaction to this shit was insane too so me personally i me personally yeah smash bros is definitely but but bro i have to do this because i put so much time into this game when it first dropped as well um i want to say this is an honorable mention but it's really not um i'm just gonna go ahead and just show it. division two bruh when this first came out bro i was on this game me and nico me nico and arsenic was on this game so freaking hard we beat this game so quick that the story we all clicked up in this and just literally beat the game so quick, bro. Like, we ran through the content like no other. We was making builds. We was hunting legendaries and, you know, exotics. Just going crazy. Like, I don't even know how many hours I got into this. Like, I kind of want to jump on my Xbox, log on to see how many hours I got into this game. Now, when it first came out, we beat the game, ran through it. We didn't do the raid, but we did all the dungeons. Literally, we, me and my cousin two-manned the dungeons. We didn't even go through a group. Our builds were so crazy, we two-manned dungeons. Me and him just going freaking crazy in this game. Then they dropped a new, uh, they had dropped a new operator. When they dropped a new operator, we pretty much stopped on this game. We stopped playing this game. Uh, and then kind of went and jumped back on like Destiny and all these other games. But, bro, I put so much time into this game. I think I got over, I think I got over, like, two, three hundred hours in this game, maybe. Like, probably a little bit more. I feel like we went crazy in this game, bro. Like, I kind of miss playing this, honestly, because we had so many different weapons, so many different builds. I thought this game was freaking dope when they dropped it. Like, I was on a bandwagon. I was on a train. When this dropped, I was like, yo. Yeah, we about to turn up in this division, bro. We is about to turn up. And we really went hard in this game. Like, I 
I didn't really see a problem with it. It did start to get a little bit repetitive, but you just really had to stay up on the content and just, you know, keep everything flowing. And, you know, once you beat the game, it gets harder. Stuff's on a world's unlocked, it get harder. You go in the tiers, world tier one, two, three, four, five, blah, blah, blah. And then you start jumping into the dark zone, which we didn't even really play in the dark zone because that was just a whole another game in itself. And I've felt like the dark zone, if you didn't go in there in a five man group, four man group, it was over for you. Like you might as well not even try to hunt exotics in the dark zone because you're gonna get straight raped out. Like they're gonna be owning you like straight up and down so i mean we went in there a few times got a few little things but i didn't play around in the dark zone bro i stayed away from that but we did play co-op uh competitive co-op a lot oh we was turned in that competitive co-op bruh <laughs> bruh we used to run run it run it up in that like definitely 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 a dope game definitely fire pure fire i like i pure fire bro definitely in my top game of the year for real straight up and down i thought it was dope i played the beta the technical alpha test all that thought it was fire i thought they did a lot from division one they fixed a lot from division one and brought it into division two like i really really enjoyed this game still do i gotta start playing it more but definitely enjoyed it um i can keep going on man one honorable mention I'm going to pull up real quick, and I just actually started playing this game. Was um, uh, what's it called? Uh, one like one game that literally that I've picked up on and started playing recently. I got it over Black Friday, and this is gonna be the last one I talk about. Um, is uh, Days Gone. I recently picked this up Black Friday, and uh, this is an honorable mention game, bro. This game right here is fire, man. If you haven't played Days Gone, and you got a PS4, you need to cop this game. This is this is definitely a game you should cop right here. Um, very fun storyline. I like how they going. I like the apocalyptic games, period, myself. Like, I really enjoy apocalyptic just stuff. Like, zombies. Um, I'm a whole, very big zombie fanatic. Um, anything apocalyptic like this, survival, it's fire to me. Um, this is definitely a must grab. This is an honorable mention game. Um, you definitely should check this out. Definitely. Um, if you haven't, you, you need to. You need to. And The Last of Us Remastered as well. Uh, another good game. If you haven't checked that out, make sure you grab those games. But i think i'm done here uh i can talk about this all day but i didn't i just made this youtube video way too long but um this is my you know top five and a couple honorable mention games of 2019 i will definitely do a 2020 video of most anticipated games for 2020 my list my list not all around this is my list this is what i'm anticipated about uh, and I might do a breakdown of different systems, you know, top games and blah, blah, blah. I don't know, but I'm definitely going to do a game for 2020 once 2020 hit. And then we're going to do, uh, most anticipated or our most outlandish thoughts of 2020 for gaming. That's going to be a fun video for me. Uh, so be on the lookout for that, man. Make sure I hit, make sure y'all hit the like button. Make sure I support, make sure I check everything out, man. Like, rate, comment, subscribe, you know, like, comment, subscribe, do all that, man. Get into the conversation. Let's talk about it. Let's get it. Uh, make sure y'all hit that like, man. Let's let's go crazy, man. Let's get it. Keep supporting the channel, man. It's your boy, it's Switch from the Urban Gamers. You already know what time it is, man. Keep it gaming. Keep it peace. Keep swag. We're going to keep this movement going, man. Let's get it. Holla at your boy. See y'all in the next one. Hope y'all like this video. Doosh. We out.